Hello Wanderers! Before we get into today's episode we wanted to let you guys know about a few things. First, we have a community Discord server, where you can interact with other lovers of the backrooms, share awesome memes, and more. Next, we finally opened a merch shop. We're very excited to embark on this new step for the podcast, so go on over and give it a look. And lastly, we're always looking for feedback on the podcast, so if there are any suggestions on what you'd like for us to cover, please shoot us a message. P.S. Thanks for all the short stories you guys have been sending. We enjoy reading what you guys send, so please keep it up. We'll be leaving a link to the Discord as well as the merch store in the show descriptions, so with that short message out of the way, let's return to the episode. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Traveler's Guide to the Backrooms. Where we try to go over and explain the lore of the many levels and entities within. My name is Sharp A3, an MEG AI processing system, and today, we'll be going over what many consider to be the oldest group within the backrooms. So, I hope you are ready for a backroom history lesson, because today, we'll be going over the Lost. Basic Descriptions The Lost is a label given to the collective of ancient peoples who've allied together within the backrooms. Over the years, this group swelled in number until it became a major faction of its own. Or in other words, it became a singular nation. Each minority group that makes up the Lost consists of an individual culture, with their own cultural rules and outlook to other groups within the backrooms. The origins of the Lost stretch back to before most of, if not all of the major groups within the backrooms today were established. Back to a point in time where most information about said period has been long lost to history, where the first peoples of the front rooms entered this vast liminal landscape. Many believe the first members of the Lost were made up of the first tribes to come into existence. With them surviving for so long within the backrooms without the external conflicts of other major groups, they were able to grow far faster and larger. Making them a major presence within the backrooms for some time. The number of members within the Lost is speculated to be between 50 to 500 members, but going over the files about them, we believe the member count is much higher. Many have stated that having a good relationship with the Lost as a whole or any of their inner cultural groups should be held in high regard. This is because, if you're allied or in good standing with the members, you would have the support and protection of the faction as a whole. Though it should be said that the opposite is true as well. If you're in bad standing with any of the minority groups within the faction, the entirety of it will be hostile towards you until reparations have paid. So, a faction made up of many tribes and cultures, coming together as a nation within the backrooms. This makes the Lost one of the more interesting groups to encounter. Now, with that basic rundown of the faction out of the way, let's get into the two major allied nations within the Lost. The Lost Sons The Lost Sons are the first of the allied nations we'll go over. Mostly because this nation contains the oldest groups known within the faction as well as the backrooms. The most notable of the ancient peoples that make up the Lost Sons come from a collection of tribes and other cultural groups from the early Americas of the front rooms. Some of the groups within the Lost Sons are, the Mayans, Inca, and a multitude of North American tribes. It should be stated that many other groupings of these cultures do exist within the backrooms, but do not hold any allegiances with the Lost. Either due to cultural differences or other matters. As we stated earlier, some of the members within the Lost Sons are believed to be one of the first people within the backrooms, and as such, making the Lost Sons one of the longest-lasting groups within the backrooms. Thus, making the Lost as a whole one of the oldest. There's evidence to suggest that they even predate these other major factions by a few centuries at the very least. Quite a feat within the backrooms. It's believed members of these tribes entered the backrooms around the same time, forming alliances not too long after first interactions. Leaving rather perplexing questions about the properties of time within the backrooms. At first, these alliances were put into place mostly to find a way back to the front rooms and survival. But, as time passed many stopped their quest to find ways out and looked more into not just surviving, but thriving within the backrooms. Something they went on to do to great effect. Over time, more and more people from different cultures clipped into the backrooms, strengthening the ranks of the Lost Sons in relative secrecy. As they grew, and other factions started to spring up throughout the backrooms, many tried to form alliances with the Lost Sons, but due to their secretive nature, 
This proved quite a hurdle to the other factions. The Lost Sons live mostly as a nomadic lifestyle splitting up into smaller groups spread throughout the backrooms. Uniting up again when it's time to move on to better resources. The levels they mostly occupy are levels 1, 3, and 5. Though there are other levels they are known to travel into other less traveled levels to hunt. They create temporary settlements throughout their travels, which shouldn't be entered without the appropriate permissions. This is a great honor to outsiders of the faction. In order to join the Lost Sons you have to genuinely want to join. Them. They won't waste their time accepting someone who is going to commit to the group fully. Once they decided to start bringing you in, they have to access that you're physically capable to attend hunts. To even do this you must first find and convince a tribe's leader to allow you to attend hunts with the other tribesmen, after you've been shadowing a few hunting sessions and gaining the necessary skills, the tribe's leader will assign you a labor or task to complete. This task can range from taking down a specific entity to surviving within a specific area for a certain amount of time. If you're able to successfully finish the task, the next major step is to learn most of the commonly used languages within the Lost Sons. Though, there's a good possibility that would have already happened before reaching this stage. Now the final stage. You'll have to lead a hunt yourself. If this is successful, you will be fully welcomed into the Lost Sons. Though many tribes make up the Lost Sons, the largest tribes to be formed from them are the Lost Mayans, the Dynasty of the Sons, and the Great Stones. The Lost Legion The Lost Legion is the other allied nation within the Lost mentioned before. They were formed by the many Mediterranean cultures, including the ancient Romans and Greeks. Most notably, during the Pyrrhic War period. As time went on, due to their shared overlapping cultural traits, many groups came together to best survive the backrooms. As the Lost Legion started gaining more and more members, a strong bond with the Lost Sons grew with them. What's noticeable about the Lost Legion is that, even with being quite different culturally speaking, they still view the Lost Sons as great warriors and hold them in high respect. Being grateful for being allies with each other. Though the Lost Legion still value and even participate in hunts of their own, they value the glory of battle that can be found in the act rather than strictly for food or religious reasons. Unlike the Lost Sons, they're known to live a more stationary lifestyle. Having settlements and other pockets of civilization throughout the backrooms. Though they mostly keep to levels 3 and 2 due to the relative safety and resources. Something else to note about the Lost Legion is that they're known to be even more standoffish to outsiders than the Lost Sons. Even getting openly hostile with outsiders on different occasions. Because of this, gathering information from outside the group, so much of their inner cultures are fairly unknown. Much like the Lost Sons, languages commonly used by the Lost Legion have yet to be translated. Make nonviolent interactions with them much harder to deal with. So, what happens when the Lost Sons and the Lost Legion are both inhabiting the same hunting territory? Well, fellow wanderer, I'm glad you asked. When this happens, the Lost Sons are known to stay within the Legion settlement for the duration of the hunt. Though we haven't had the chance to witness these two nations interacting with each other, we can assume that those days or weeks are spent in comradeship and joy. As this may not occur often. Now you're probably wondering what does society look like within the Lost Legion? Many who've dealt with them commented that they lived much as the ancient Greeks and Romans had. Though they're known to allow those under their banner to believe in either pantheon of their choosing. Viewing their gods as interchangeable at times. Again, much like the Lost Sons, the beginning of the Legion came about by a need to survive and exit the backrooms. But like everyone else with this goal that proved to be impossible, so they focused more on their quality of life within the backrooms. Slowly becoming the Lost Legion we know today. One thing to note about the Lost Legion's history within the Lost as a whole, they have always been known for their short tempers and readiness to go to war with other groups in the backrooms. Luckily, with the help of the other groups within the Lost, this is mostly avoided. Though this is the case, they are still known to act in petty involvements. Whether that be petty threats or small-scale raids. Making interactions with them just that much harder, if that hasn't been stated. While the Lost Sons also have a built-in warrior-based system, the Legion is greatly influenced by it in a much different way. Meaning if you want to actively rise in the societal hierarchy of the Legion, you have to battle your way up. Perform great in hunts and prove yourself worthy of a great title and social ranking. The largest civilizations to sprout within the Lost Legion are the Bronze Elite and Poseidon's Fury. Closing Words So, that was the Lost, 
one of the largest civilizations in human history. At least, that we know of, of course. So, what did you guys think about the lost? If you could create a tribe or settlement, what would it be called, and would it fall under the lost sons or legion, or neither? We would love to hear what you guys think. That's going to be all from us today, so thanks for listening and we hope to see you guys in the next episode. Until next time, have a wonderful day, and be safe out there. I would like to say a very special thank you to our wanderers over at Patreon, Rick Diculus, Izzy Klein, Caleb Hills, Zephyr the Cast Iron Crow, Vel Mexuro, Nathan Gear, Anakin Bumgardner, Sushi Penguini, Cullen Shaughnessy, Stephen Conger, my friends call me PK, Jeff Nordley, Slim Steven, That One Random Guy, The Good Diamond, Undead, World Ray, Lee, Malamamon, Brandon Barry, Shelby Girl Gaming, and Mystery BMO. Thank you all for going that extra step to support us and what we do. It's greatly appreciated. If you would also like to get your name shouted out at the end of the episode, get access to episodes earlier, and other perks, go become a patron on our Patreon. For $1 a month, you can do those things and more. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.